係我嚟香港嗰個有有一個啊啊啊姊妹 ，that we've been praying for for years。好多年我哋已經啊，我哋家人都話為佢祈禱。She's going to come and maybe give a little, have a little lunch today. So 會嚟有可能啊，會嚟香港同我哋啊聚會，同我哋啊。Hi, come on in. So if you see somebody, shake hands and bless them. They come in late. Hi, come on in. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? I just said if you see somebody that comes in late, bless them. And they come in, but I wasn't talking about you. I'm talking about somebody else. Okay. Um, we will have lunch at one o'clock. We will have lunch at one o'clock. We will have lunch at one o'clock. So we we will try to be brief. I was telling Chris though. It's hard to do um, English and Chinese. We haven't figured out how to do it under an hour yet. <laughs> okay. A few announcements. Please pray for Mother and Richard. Mother um, and I, we worked really hard in the cold giving out the Bibles. And all of us, all three, got a lot of congestion. You know, uh, Pastor Richard, uh, 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 the my Pastor Ken and Nancy, they all got too very uncomfortable because they were sitting in the cold. And I worked all week with no no holiday from December 20th all the way until now. So, um, mother, oh, go ahead. mother is still a little sick, and Richard has been sick also. Richard was supposed to speak today at another church. But I'm not sure if they called in sick or not. So please pray for their health. They're going to be traveling to Malaysia tomorrow. And they will be meeting a friend of mine I've known for over 20 years. A Chinese Christian. And he worked in Hong Kong for many years as a banker. So next Sunday, they're going to be fellowshipping with the Chinese Christians in Malaysia. So please bless them. Mother doesn't know if she wants to see an orangutan in Borneo. But Richard wants to see a real live orangutan. So please pray for them. Pastor Philip will speak next week. What are you going to speak about? Uh, don't know. He's going to speak about don't know. So if you don't know something, come next week. <laughs> Maybe we'll figure out something. Next week's. Uh, Message will will come to me. I think the Spirit will tell me what what's coming. Yes, the Holy Spirit helps us when we don't know. <laughs> Is that true? Amen. 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 Um, please welcome our brother visiting.
我哋啊啊要啊歡迎我哋第一次嚟嘅。我哋啊，我第一兄喺啊瑞士嚟嘅。Raymond 度。Raymond。Raymond 度。And pray for us as we tomorrow we go to Philippines. You know, we talk to all the ladies. Maybe they have good advice. Or good friends. On January 24th, will be girls' night out in Tungcheong. 一每個月嘅特會，東涌嘅 Girls Night Out 會係啊一月二十四號。This is a this is a very special time. 呢個好特別嘅時間。We have been inviting all the ladies in Tungcheong and from anywhere in Hong Kong to come. 我哋個已經邀請好多啊東涌啲姊妹。But especially in Tungcheong, that all the churches could come and worship as ladies of of the Lord together. 我哋有個現場祝福東涌啲啊姊妹，特別咧，我哋邀請各教會啲姊妹喺度聚集。我哋二十四號。And this on the twenty fourth, the speaker will be the pastor of the largest international church in Tungcheong. 然後咧，我哋識啊二十四號晚咧，我哋邀請咗咧東涌最大嘅國際教會個啊牧者啊俾個信息係講。Pastor Sharon Hu. 有個啊。Okay, and their church is so large that they meet in the Novotel Hotel. So please invite all of your ladies to come. This is going to be a great time. She is a flight attendant for, I think, Cathay Pacific. So we're going to listen to stories of miracles from the heavens. And also, our Emmy is going to give testimony. 我哋嘅 Emmy 姊妹咧，嗰日咧會有個特別嘅服侍啦。How she came to Jesus， 然後有個見證咧，佢點樣嚟到我哋嘅主呢個身邊 ？So please come， 就請請你請你同請你邀請其他啲姊妹一齊，星期廿四號都都做。Lord Jesus， thank you for your word。多謝你嘅主。Thank you that we don't just have to hear in the air what you want us to do。That you have created the Word of God, the Bible. The Bible will give us instruction and in how to do things when we're not doing it right. Thank you, Jesus, for your word today that we can share. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Okay, um, let's go to Ephesians. Okay, verse six. I'm going to give you the short version of the sermon. You know, I'll give you the 
簡單短嘅版本，我今日個個商文就短嘅版本。OK， can you who can read in Chinese？ 有有冇啊？ Uh, 我哋邀請一一位姊妹為我哋啊廣東話講《以弗所書》第二章第六節，可唔可以？ Verse six, can you read that, Celia? Then you will be able to read it. Yeah. Verse chapter two, verse six. Can you do it again, louder? Ah, you can. Celia, you can please read it again, louder. Ah, you can. Celia, you can please read it again, louder. Okay, and God raised us up with Christ, and seated us with Him in the heavenly realms in Christ Jesus. Okay. Amen. Now, the short version, but we can talk about this over and over in, in the future. Verse six answers what God does with us in salvation. When we are saved, we are able to have relationship. Communication. And the full benefits of God's Spirit in our life. 然後我哋嘅得得著啊，我哋嘅主嘅靈嗰個幫助。Okay. Now, if I don't know very much about Jesus, but I learn that Jesus loves me, and I say, "Okay, Jesus, please come into my life and let me be right with you." 如果我係唔熟悉神，不過我知我識得點樣去要求神進入我嘅生命，幫助我。Okay. At that point. God does the salvation process. Okay, He takes all of our sin and He gets rid of it. He puts in His righteousness into our lives. Okay, God is holy. The only way we can have relationship with God is by becoming holy. Okay, now here's an old question. Can you become holy by doing a lot of good stuff, buying Bibles for people? 你可唔可以自己結淨到自己？因為你自己係你自己行為令到哦哦捐好多書籍啊，俾好多聖經人，可唔可以咁樣結淨你自己嘅生命？呢、这個好簡單。Can you be holy that way？ 你可唔可以憑你自己嘅行為結淨到你自己嘅生命 ？Can you be holy？ 憑你自己嘅做嘢可以結淨到你自己嘅生命？你啲行為。She says, uh, "I'll do my best." Okay, that. But she doesn't know. Okay, people will tell you lots of things. 好多人会讲好多事，好多唔同嘅方法。But you can only become holy. 你唯一嘅方法，真系可以洁净你自己嘅生命。By God pouring His holiness into us. 唯一嘅方法就系我哋嘅主，佢嘅洁净光，在我哋嘅生命，安安在。When we pray, oh Jesus, please save me. I'm, I'm, I'm separated from you. I need your help. Then all of a sudden, woo! We, we don't know how it works. But let's say there's a lot of angels. 當啦，當真係好多天軍天士
And the angels come, woo, and they start, they start cleaning all the sin off of me. All the sin is wiped away. And then God pours the righteousness in us. And God pours His holiness in us. And the Bible says in verse 6 of Ephesians that we are seated in the heavenlies with God. We are of this world, but we are also outside of time. Remember, God is outside of time. God is outside of time, and we are saved in communion for all eternity, forever and ever, with God in heaven. Okay, another thing God gives us in salvation is He promises to keep us in salvation. Now, if you want to go run away from God, then you might be able to get to hell. But there is a famous poem called The Dog of Heaven. Or the Hound of Heaven. And the poem is, God will come after you. Because he doesn't want you to go to hell. He will come after you until you get back with God. So in 2013, some of you will feel called by God to go pray with older people who are in homes. Because God doesn't want them to go to hell either. So he will use people to pray and love them. Okay. Salvation means you are saved with God in relationship with God for all eternity, forever and ever. Amen. Okay, let's say Jesus gave me special permission to go into heaven. Now I've heard two men who have visited the throne of God before. And they, they both said the same thing. I was screaming while God was talking to me. Because being in the presence of God was so beautiful and amazing. All these men could do is, ah! 
咁樣嘅地方，有咁樣嘅地方。OK， 好。So I go, I go to heaven with my video camera, my video camera, my video camera. I go to heaven with my camera, and I see Maggie. And Maggie has this golden hair and big red cheeks that are filled with love, 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 love. love. 好紅，然後個頭髮咧發光咁樣，然後佢充滿愛。And she sings to me in English。然後佢會好流利嘅英文同我唱詩歌。Or am I hearing and understanding the heavenly language？ 係啦，佢唔知唱緊乜，不過我自己又聽到英文嚟。For Maggie says, tell myself that's on earth, that everything you will go through in life is Worth it. 然後咧，同佢同 Patty 聽講，你翻翻去我喺地球嗰個 Maggie 話俾佢聽，每樣嘢都值得嘅。同地球嗰個 Maggie 講。Because look at how beautiful I am and everyone is here in heaven. 輝煌喺我哋個天堂幾幾宏偉，你你同地球嗰個 Maggie 講清楚。And then I see Esther. 然後我喺嗰度見到嘅咧，小孩子。And then I see Adriano. <laughs> and then I see Dorcas. And I see every one of you in heaven. And I take pictures. And I see the people that you are praying for now that are not with Jesus. And they are in heaven too. Amen. The twenty-five friends of Celia. You know, Celia, 姊妹嘅二十五个未信主嘅朋友。That she got twenty-five Bibles for, that she prays for. 然后佢攞咗二十五个圣经，系为嗰啲人祈祷。They are all in heaven. 一一都喺天国。And their three hundred children and grandchildren. 然后佢哋二十五个人，嗰三百几个后裔，嗰啲子女。And Celia is in heaven. Celia 都喺我哋嘅真天真地。Saying Lord, can I get a moment alone? 其實主啊，我可唔可以單獨講一講 ？And Jesus says, this is your family that you brought because of your prayers. You'll never have a moment alone again. 呢個咧就係你帶嚟嘅家庭，呢個二二十二十五三八，呢個就係你家庭。有可能咧，你你好難會單獨。So you are saved. You ask Jesus to help come in your life, help you with life. You are saved. Now let's go to Romans 12. We're going to go 12, 1 and 2. First. Can you, Celia? I'll never leave you alone. Can you read it in Chinese again? Romans twelve one and two. You sing the Romans twelve one and two. So, dear friends, I give you the glory of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord, the Lord of the Lord. 当作活祭是圣洁的，是神所喜悦的。你们如此侍奉，乃是理所当然的。不要效法这世，这个世界，只要心意更新而变化，叫你们察验何为神的善良、纯全、可喜悦的旨意。Okay. Okay. Yesterday I went to meet Chris at California Pizza Kitchen. 今日咧，我喺啊德拉士街嘅 California Kitchen 咧，就見到啊澳洲嚟嘅 Chris 弟兄。And you have to understand， 你要明白 ，God has His hand on me。然後你要明白，個主個手喺喺按在我身上，帶領我。I've been playing a video game recently。
where I tell my characters what to do. <laughs> and they have to do it because I press the button. But if I was playing God, which I'm not, I'd say, why don't you do this thing? Like one of the characters has to spend the night with his son, his baby. Okay. So God would say, why don't you spend the night with your baby? And you will be happy. See, when we are saved, God's got His hand on our head. <laughs> so, He'll say, hey, why don't you do this? And if I'm obedient and I walk, that's how they walk in the video game. <laughs> All of a sudden, wonderful things will happen to me. So the Lord told me, go to Chris's a little earlier. So I left early and I ran into... Pastor Mike Yu of the Christian Missionary Church in Tungcheong. Now many of you know Pastor Mike, but Pastor Mike and his wife helped me to start the Kama Cafe. Four and a half years ago, we were in here studying the Bible with Pastor Mike and his wife and ten teenagers. And then at the end of the Bible study, we sang to man. We sang to him a few songs, but one of them was Jesus in Hong Kong, Jesus in Hong Kong, Jesus in me, Jesus in you. So I ran into Pastor Mike. And he said, Ken, I'm preaching tomorrow on Romans 12.1. What do you think of Romans 12.1? And I said, I'm going to tell you what I think. And we were supposed to go on the bus E21A together. But he was going to Yaktunga. And I was going to Mong Kok. So... Later, he asked me to text him what I thought. So Pastor Mike is preaching now. And I'm stealing his sermon idea. Close your eyes. Celia. Can you say a little prayer for Pastor Mike? You know Pastor Mike from Yat Kangan. That his congregation 
will know who they are in Jesus. Let's just pray right now. In Chinese, do it in Chinese. Please lead us as, as to how to pray for Pastor Please have your spirit be with him as he uh, gives the message uh, presently and uh, give him strength and uh, your spirit be with him. Please sanctify uh, the church and uh, please use uh, Pastor Mike. In, in the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. Okay, this message is a message for 2013. This message is for you. <laughs> This message is for you, and you, and you, and you, and you. Earlier we sang, you are made for 2013. If you are in heaven now dead, to the earth, then you're not supposed to be here. But everyone that is here, it's because... God has a plan for you for 2013. Okay, so in Ephesians, we learned our future self is in heaven. That's not really future, it's our glorified out of time self. Out of time. We are completely clean. Say, I am clean. 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 We have no more sin in us. Say, because God has put in His right, His right, what's the word? Okay. Say, I am righteous. I am righteous. I am righteous. Okay. Now, we talk about things that are not of God, that are of the devil. And we talk we talk about our human flesh. Okay. So we will sin. And we will do things that are wrong. And they could be as little as judging somebody wrong. Or big as making big mistakes over arguing, fighting. Sexual sin, all kinds of But the Word of God says if we confess our sins, how does it finish? If we confess our sins, He is righteous, he is righteous to, uh, to um, repent, to, to forgive us. To forgive. Yeah. Yeah. So if you guys have any sins you're dealing with, you better be saying, Jesus, help me to overcome these sins. Okay. Romans 12.1 I urge you, brothers or sisters, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices. Holy and pleasing to God, this is your spiritual act of worship. Verse 2, do not conform any longer 
to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Then you will be able, oh, I'm sorry. Then you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, His good, pleasing, and perfect will. Okay, many years ago, I worked with a junior high group, a secondary 12 and 13 year olds. And we taught them that you, your whole Christian worship for God is not your singing. How's that song go? La la la, hallelujah, la la la, hallelujah, yeah, hallelujah. It's fun. It's fun, but we are not, God is not American Idol. God is not Glee. Now in heaven, there's a better program on than Glee. If you go to Revelation, the choir program might be called Holy, Holy, Holy. Okay, our spiritual act of worship is not how good the band is and the dancers. Everything that, everything that, everything that, that half breath praise the Lord. <laughs> Our spiritual act of worship. Go to the second verse. Is the renewing of our mind. The renewing of our mind. Okay. Gwyneth is glorified up in heaven with Jesus and she's doing what Jesus does, praying and interceding for us in this time. And one of Gwyneth's prayers for herself in this time is God, let Gwyneth know how much she is important to your kingdom. How good and righteous she is, and how she will live a life that is, whether filled with heart or, or not, will live a life of glory to God. Okay, so our minds, we don't know who we are as Christians. When we are saved, we say, oh, I feel a little different. <laughs> How, how's that old song? I have a funny feeling. I have a funny feeling. That's not a good song. <laughs> okay? That's why you fellowship with the saints. You 
you read the Bible, and people will disciple you to know who you are. When you know who you are, what does the Bible say? When your mind is renewed, you will be able to test and do what God's will is. His good, perfect, and pleasing will. Okay. Oh. I'm going to point at you, and you give me a percentage of how much your mind is renewed. <laughs> okay, Adriana. <laughs> but after so many years of being Christian, raised up since a child, I would say 90 percent. 90 percent, yay! Okay, I will stop there. <laughs> In some churches, then the, the, the pastor will get up, well, I'm even longer, so my mind is 195%. Okay. Now, every day, if you start off the day, Jesus, I am good, I am Clean. Come on in. Okay, say it. Jesus, I am clean. Jesus, I am clean. Jesus, I am righteous. And look in the mirror. Jesus, I am beautiful. Okay, if you look in the mirror and you think you're not beautiful, that is not Jesus. That is mostly yourself. And the bad things people have told you. Now, if you look in the mirror and you see red horns coming out of your head, <laughs> that is not the devil, you're just a very creative person. <laughs> Who needs to know you're okay. Okay, if we... Now the whole... Romans 12, we won't go over today. The next section talks about the gifts of the Spirit. When you are renewed in your mind and know who you are, you will be used by God more and more to give the gift of His Spirit to the world. Okay, now somebody will tell you this, but I don't, I don't agree. They will say you only have one gift. My gift of the Spirit is putting these two cans together. Okay, now, if that was true, you do the best you can. Because it's the gift of the Spirit through you to the world. But the gifts of the spirits are, it's like um, a computer program. Okay, 
It's like an airplane computer program. If the heavy wind hits, does the plane just crash? No, the computer in the plane will adjust so the plane keeps flying. The gifts of the Spirit in your life are flexible. When someone is sick, you will pray and they will feel better. When someone doesn't know, don't know, the Holy Spirit will give you the gift of teaching to help them know. We will talk more about that in the future. Okay, the rest of Romans 12 are some good examples of living a godly life. And this, actually, Ephesians 2 and Romans 12, many years ago I wrote into Psalms. Okay, so I will give you some things that you can do for 2013. Now, is this heavy? Is this heavy? No. For you now. Is it heavy, Maggie? Here, here, catch. Is it heavy? Here, throw it. Okay. God's Spirit is not heavy. You have everything you need. On your first day that Jesus saved you. Jesus says, take my burden, take my yoke upon you, for my burden is light. Okay, but people will tell you that you're not holy enough. That you're not accepted by Jesus. And this burden becomes heavier. Oh! Oh! I gotta serve you! Oh! Oh! I gotta help! Oh! 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 I gotta serve you! You don't love me unless I work hard! Oh! Oh! Jesus says, take my burden on you. It is light. So the things that I read to you, you do as the Spirit shows you to do. And it will be light. If you live 2013 knowing that you are okay with God, that you are righteous, that you have power from God to live with a plan for 2013, no matter what happens, no matter what you lose or gain, even today, um, I was so busy with the Bibles, I, I forgot to buy a music stand for the microphone. So, so I can't go out to Mong Kok to sing. So, 
Now it's a beautiful day. But I can't go out. So if I know that God has a plan, then I have more time to spend fellowshipping okay, and blessing other people. But if I live that I'm failing God and all the people are going to hell. Oh! 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 I gotta get that music stand. Oh! Oh! Okay. Is it Ken in Mom Cock loves you? Or Pastor Ken? Ken Moxi Moi Wong Gok. Or is it Jesus in Mom Cock that loves you? Moi Wong Gok. Because Jesus is going to do more work in His plan than if we try to work the show, work great! Now, if you, like me, and like many others, like the video game, Ken, why don't you get on the bus this morning? <laughs> then the Holy Spirit will use me where I'm obedient. And it is hard! I have to have fourteen dollars in my pocket. <laughs> I have to get out of bed. I have to take an elevator downstairs. Oh! Oh! I have to walk downstairs to the bus. Oh! Oh! <laughs> See, there are hard things we will do in life. But this year in 2013, the Lord is going to show you just to do the little things that aren't so hard. And if you do that, if you do that, God's love will go through you to so many people. Celia, as she obeys God, just loving people and smiling and caring for them, she's going to need four more Bibles. She's going to need four more Bibles because four more people. Four more people will need Jesus. She won't have enough Bibles because she keeps loving people so much. Okay. Let's go through these. Let's start with 9. Celia, can you read Romans 12, 9 through 11? Romans 12, 9 through 11. Wait, wait, wait. Speak a little louder. Let's try it. Try it. Oh. <laughs> because it could be. <laughs> 不可躲難,要心裏火熱神神服侍主 OK This was a song Love must be sincere Cling to what is good Be devoted to one another In brotherly love 
Honor one another above yourselves. Then I went a little bit down to bless those who persecute you. If I were you, and if I were me, I would have I would have printed out for you these things that you could remember to do. Okay? How many men or women can you love at one time in your life? How many men or women can you love in one time? Maybe I should rephrase the question. How many men or women can you love in marriage at one time? How many? One. Okay. But one. Okay. But there are many opportunities for you to love people around you or love people you don't even know. But whatever you do, make it sincere. When you operate with the gift of this Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit will tell you to love a person. Not, and the Holy Spirit will tell you to marry a person. Also. But the Holy Spirit will tell you to love. Now sometimes if you don't feel that you need to do something for a person, then don't worry about it. Feel feel like they are want something. Don't say they move. They move high. Uh, uh, uh. There are seven billion people in the world. We have, we have seventy billion people. Seventy billion people. I cannot love seven billion people. But if God wants you every morning to get up and pray for seven billion people, every person, to feel His Spirit and His love, do that. That's good. Okay? Love must be sincere. You pray, and if you don't feel comfortable, the Holy Spirit might be stopping you for some reason. Don't fake your love. Don't come up to your sister and say, Oh, I love you. See you later. And then you go tell your friends, her breath smells bad. <laughs> if, you, if you don't love somebody, don't fake it. Try to be nice, but pray for them. Pray for them that you will learn to love them. You know, um, one time a gentleman stayed in my house. And he stayed in my bed. You know, uh, I my While I was away. <laughs> and I came back, and his stuff was in my bed, and everything was dirty, and I was like, ah! And I was, Lord, what's wrong with me? Why don't I love him? You know, I don't and I learned it's because another pastor was supposed to disciple him and he wasn't supposed to live with me. That's what the Lord told me. So, whatever you do, don't fake your love. If you fake your love, you will stop remembering how to really love. Sometimes God doesn't want us to help somebody doesn't want us to be the friend. Just pray for them and say, God, let me 
I mean, you love them. You don't, but you don't have to push to be this loving Christian. Just do what God does, and you will be happy. Okay. If we go to verse 10, be devoted to one another in brotherly love. Okay. When God tells you to love someone, do you stop loving them and give up on them? What if they have a they get sick? Do you stop loving them? What if they get old? Do you stop loving them? What if they're not your family? And the Lord tells you you need to take care of them as they get old. Will you love them? When God puts on your heart to love somebody, be devoted to one another. I see brotherly love as not just the people in your little church. Our love as the family of God goes to all of the believers in Hong Kong. Do you know that you have a bigger family than you ever thought? It's a family of millions and millions of people. The family of God. And you're never alone. Sometimes the family of God is nasty. But many times the family of God will break your heart because they love you so much. And we are never alone. There are people around Hong Kong that have loved me and that I love that I can't even express my feelings. Okay, if you read until the end of your chapter, that's your homework. God is going to give you words for your plan for 2013. He will use these words to fill in your plan. Verse 11. Keep your zeal, keep your energy for God. Verse 9. Hate what is evil. Always cling what is good. Look to the good things in your life. Don't look to your bad things. I am alive. I, it is January what? 13th, 2013. 13, 13. 
I am alive. Are you alive? Now, did God create us for good or for evil? Did God create you for good or evil? Good or evil? Good. Huh? She said, Amen. Amen. Okay. We are alive. We are created by God for good. He's got His hand on us all the time, giving us ideas on what to do. We have a plan for 2013, and it will be good. Okay. Verse 12. Joyful in hope. Patient in affliction. Hard times. God will show us how to make it, not give up. Faithful in prayer. Verse 13. Okay. What is the date today? Today is the what? What's the year today? Okay. What is the first? Go to verse 13. This is the greatest verse today for me. Okay. Okay, verse 13. This should be on the top of your 2013. People will joke and say, Pastor Ken much must have told you. Okay. Okay, share with God's people who are in need. And practice hospitality. So if somebody's sick, you can give me a hospital for them. Hospitality also means that you can host a party of friends. Or you can buy everybody coffee at Starbucks. <laughs> or for a birthday, you can make somebody a special rice dish. My mother, when I was a little boy, every holiday, she would invite the poorest ministers from around the area, the poor farming community. They, they would have their teeth rotting out of their mouth. Their children didn't have good clothes. But she said, let's get together and encourage the ministers and bless them. She would buy them gifts. We'd have a big turkey. She'd want me to clean my room. Go wash the car. Go pick, pick the weeds. I hated it. But I learned how to do the same thing. Sometimes I will have people come around payday. Because they will know, I believe in the Filipino adage. I'm a millionaire for a day. Jesus wants us to live wise with our finances and how we help others. But when I know a brother who come, who's been working here, trying to serve God for five years, and he's telling me he's starving. I may disagree with his choices, but God, if he says give him a hundred dollars so that he can have a little bread, 
I will give a hundred dollars if it's the last thing I can do. Because the brother, even though he may be making big mistakes, He's my brother in God. And one day he may see that all the years that I've worked and tried to help here and there may encourage him to go back to work and to use his money better. Okay, homework is the rest of chapter 12. Homework <laughs> Now, write down measurable goals. Things you can do that in two or three months you'll see if they came to pass. Like, I will, I will encourage somebody five times a month. <laughs> if, if the Lord tells me, I will give a birthday cake once a year to my friends, to myself. No. By the way, this is a pretty good Bible. The Serendipity Bible. I was recommended this by Sister Nancy a couple of years ago. So we're leaving it here at the Comic Cafe. Because they deserve a good Bible. Let's pray. Why don't everybody stand? If you've been to this church a lot, you will know by Pastor Ken. You will see the Pastor Ken Yak Yak Church song every day. It's a new song. Lord Jesus, we thank you for your day. have a plan for us in 2013. We thank you, first of all, we are saved. We are clean. We are righteous. We are filled with your Holy Spirit to give gifts to the world. You give us the power and the authority through Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord, that you love us. And every day you're renewing our mind. Every day you will speak to us and show us little things we can do. To give your spirit to those around us. Lord, today that we can just take a moment and receive encouragement and wisdom as we pray, as we pray,
receive God's Spirit encouraging you and loving you.